All right, on the oscilloscope, I'm measuring two identical AC waves. This is coming off of the, uh, vo the function generator, and then this is the output of a clamping circuit. A clamping circuit will um, give a DC offset. So we can see on channel one, I'm have, I have AC coupling because there is no DC. Uh, and even if there was some inc incidental one, I want to filter out anyway. And then over in channel two, I have it set DC because I want to see the DC offset. I want to measure both components. I want to measure the AC as well as the steady state and DC voltage of this uh, channel two. Now there's two ways you can measure the difference between this voltage. All right, so here we can see we've got an I two identical sine waves. Uh, channel one is my input voltage. Channel two is the output voltage of a clamping circuit. A uh, clamping circuit is uh, just like this. We have the function generator. I'm providing 250 Hertz. And channel one is measuring the input signal. Channel two is measuring the output signal uh, of the, the clamping circuit. So basically I'm measuring both sides of the capacitor. So if I wanna know what this DC voltage, the DC offset voltage that the capacitor is adding to the circuit, there's one of two ways I can measure it. Now the first way, which is might be what you're most familiar with is I can use the cursors. So I go up here and press the cursor button. And then I wanna press the cursor button again because I, wanna, I want the vertical and the horizontal. So what I'm going to do first is I want to line up both channel A and channel B. Well, multi-purpose button A, multi-purpose B on the same point or along the same point in time. And then I want to press select. Now I want to move the uh, both of these points, one onto the input and one onto the output. Yeah. That's probably about close. So here we can see our delta V between these two points is 1.6 volts. Now, if we want to confirm that this is actually a continuous 1.6 volts, uh, we can actually just repeat that. So we'll just arbitrarily move the multipurpose button A and then multipurpose, I guess they're knobs, over to here and press select to do the horizontal. And I'm going to move channel E down there, channel two rather, and move this one there. So here again, at this same point, we have 1.6 volts. So now we can say at least at these two points that it is uh, a constant DC voltage. But the assumption might be that it's that's consistent, uh, but we can actually measure that and know for sure. So I'm going to turn that off. And so what we're going to use is the math function. So I'm going to press this button and I want dual waveform math. And in this case, let's see, channel one is on the top. So I want channel one minus channel two. So I don't want channel one minus, or I don't want channel two minus channel one. I should want, so I want my first source, A, I want that to be channel one. I want that to be input. And then channel two, I want that to be the output. And I want minus, so I want the difference between these. So I want to know if this is a constant 1.6 volts. Uh, now we can see the voltage per division uh, a scale for the math is two. So I want to change that to one, so, oops. So it's the same gradation as the other channels. Just like the other channel one and channel two, you can change the label as well. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that right now. So now we can measure. So if this is the, again, the zero voltage reference, and this is one volt per division, we can count up one point, roughly six volts. Uh, we can also add a measurement. And I want to add a measurement source. And I want to measure max. Add. Right here, this is telling me I have a fairly nice steady 1.7 volts. Now, if you want, I can, we can even clean this up a little bit. We can turn averaging on. And that should filter out all the very small random noise and give us a, a slightly more accurate measurement. So again, we're getting close to about 1.6 DC. So this tells me instead of just measuring two points of, uh, using the cursors and then Assuming that it's the same, you can pretty much see visually that's that's going to be the case. Uh, but we can use the instruments to 
uh, actually measure uh, all of the points across by doing uh, uh, performing math on the waveforms. All right, that's just a little intro to how to do a waveform math.